In this video, we're going to take a look at a 10 inch monitor that works in a single DIN application. Alright, guys, so we're going to take a look at this multimedia system for your car by VanQ. Go ahead, open up the box, see what's inside here. All right, so the first thing we see when we open up the box here is your user manual. You got your warranty card here. And this looks like a quick installation guide. All right, so you guys got your wiring harness here. Looks like it's an ISO style wire harness that's your Wi-Fi antenna in this bag that's what this is gonna look like inside this bag you have your GPS antenna Here we have an external microphone. And in this bag you have multiple USB cables. All right guys, so that's what the display looks like. This is a 10 inch display kind of like a tablet style you guys can see there there's your function buttons it's kind of like an aluminum type bezel now what makes this radio different than the radios that I've reviewed in the past is this radio is going to cater to all you guys that are still rocking a single DIN style radio all the previous ones I've done have been for the double DIN. This one's going to work with your single DIN installation. So now you guys that might have older cars that just have the single DIN style radio, you guys can now have still that single DIN without major modifications and a 10 inch display. So that's pretty awesome for any older cars that ain't upgraded to the double din style this radio does provide detachable screen function here for security purposes so this does detach all you gotta do is click the wire into the bottom here wire goes in there and then the monitor slides over this bracket pull back these two handles here these are the locking mechanisms and just slides over the top of the bracket pull those back and then this is slide up once you got the screen locked into position it does provide the ability to angle the monitor for better viewing in your vehicle it does have good tension on there so it'll stay in place it's not going to flop around all right guys we're going to take a look at the back of the radio here so i can show you the inputs and outputs up top here you have your gps and your wi-fi down here is going to be where you're going to plug in your usb you guys got your power, your main harness that's going to go right there, and it is fused. Over on this side, you got your RCA inputs and outputs. This first here is going to be for your front amp, if you're running an amp, so that's your left, right, front. This is going to be for your rear amp. 
left to right, rear, out, and that goes to an amplifier. You got a subwoofer output here at the bottom. And then you're going to have some video here. You're going to have, this is going to be for your backup camera, and it's going to have video and audio. Just one channel for your audio. And then on this side, if you want to run like a DVD player, here is where your other USB is going to go. Then you have your antenna right there. Also included is a 3.5 millimeter jack input. And that input's going to be for your external microphone, as you guys see right here. If you guys need any type of reference for what wire or what input is what, it's probably hard to see here, but right on the top they have a diagram for you that's numbered and it'll let you know exactly what it is. And just like on the back here too, it's labeled what it is. Front here, you got your bezel. You're going to get your installation cage here. You're going to install this first in your dash. Then your radio's going to slide in. And that's what locks it into place. And you got your bezel to clean everything up. Alright guys, so I don't have a vehicle that accepts a single DIN radio. Like this one. But that doesn't mean we can't test this out. So I got everything wired up here. And I got a 12 volt battery source there. So I got the USB cords ran, GPS ran, Wi Fi antennas up there. Everything's plugged into the back. Got the harness plugged in. And then I'm going to run negative and positive to the battery here. And we'll see what the interface looks like. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, power the sign, and we'll see what it looks like. I see there, LEDs lit up blue. Multimedia on vehicle navigation system is on the screen currently. This is going to be the initial boot up. This is the company's name there. And there's the boot up screen. Alright guys, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the interface on this single DIN Android 10 inch radio. Up here I went ahead and changed the time, the date, corrected that. I ended up hooking up my Wi-Fi there so you guys can see the signal up in the corner. Here's the radio on this side. What we're going to do is we'll go ahead and pull this protective film off here so you guys can get a better look at what that screen looks like. So down at the bottom you got your navigation, your Bluetooth, your music. This is going to take you to a screen with all the apps. You got your radio, video and settings. Go ahead and click into radio. Presets on the bottom here. You can search up top. You got your scan here and here. It's a nice looking interface. Go ahead and go back home. So you either probably hit home here or the back button in that corner. So now we'll go ahead and we'll go to just the app menus here. You guys can see you got your file browser, you got your gallery, which would be anything stored into the system, either through a flash drive, a thumb drive, or maybe even your phone. You got your Gmail you can look into, Google search here, click into that. It's going to take you to Google, and it is connected to the Wi Fi right now, so it should load up Google search. and there's the Google search there showing some of the news so that's pretty cool got your maps here music navigation preloads Netflix for you so that's kinda cool wants me to sign in go ahead and back out of that 
and it's just going to load up Netflix. I'm not signed in or anything, but to go ahead and show you, it is going to load it. You'll be able to watch Netflix off of here. You got your Play Store, which I've already went into the Play Store and downloaded YouTube because YouTube wasn't already downloaded. Got your radio again, you got your settings, and then this is if you want to add into an OBD. It's going to let you know some of uh, your specifics of your car. Go into settings here, got screenshot settings. You got your car settings. Got your Google service settings, system settings. You got your about. And that's it for the settings in this screen. Obviously, you got your drop down there. Shows your Wi Fi. Just everything's just going to be the same as any Android phone. Your Bluetooth. You got your brightness. All that. And go through here you can clear these notifications up go ahead go back out here scroll over to the next screen it's gonna have any video that you might have in the system here whether you use it through your thumb drive or possibly your phone this is gonna be your will key obviously I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate this but this will be here to have any wheel steering wheel functions you should be able to get those to work with this here's YouTube you guys can see it loaded up YouTube there all right so I went into YouTube here this is no copyright music I have a six and a half speaker that I do have ran to this. So we'll go ahead and play some music real quick just so you guys can get some audio. So it's hard to tell. Obviously, you guys can see the display looks really nice, colorful. It's hard to tell with just one six and a half hooked up, but it sounds pretty good. It does have a built in EQ here. So, from this menu, go into settings here. You got your network internet, so that's going to be like your Wi Fi currently connected to. Your Bluetooth is going to be connected to devices like your phone and stuff. You got your apps. Get your display when click into that. It's got different wallpapers that you can choose from live gallery, live wallpapers. There's a few different wallpapers there. Go ahead and set that one. Back out of this. Got font size, display size, bright level. You got your night display. So it's going to allow you to adjust your night display. And your touch assistive. Go ahead, back out of this. You got your storage. Here it shows your storage and how much is used. So I got 36% used based off of apps and stuff. There's 16 gigabytes that's in the system itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what it is. Like here's photos and videos. Obviously, I don't have anything loaded up there, so it's not going to be tied up there shows apps files and then the system itself is going to be five gigabytes so there's not much the system's going to be five gigabytes and then I just got 0.69 gigabytes left from other things but there's a total of 16 that comes with the device got your privacy location security your accounts I got my Google account on there Go back out. As you guys can see, the wallpaper changed there. 
go to music here this is going to be if any music is downloaded to the system all right we'll go ahead and go into that EQ I was telling you guys about so here you're gonna go to where it says amplifier click into that it's gonna take you to an EQ that you can adjust yourself or they got presets down here voice flat classic jazz pop rock and then back to custom you got your loudness button over here and then you got your sub that's off to the side all separate so if you want to adjust the sub volume or frequency so that's nice here you can separate your speakers how you want to for the balance and then the fade here we'll go into Bluetooth and my phone's already connected through Bluetooth here so that's going to look like if you wanted to make a phone call click into the phone here paired devices my Galaxy Note 8 is currently connected alright so if you guys don't want to use say a built-in app like YouTube or Spotify you just want to connect your phone via Bluetooth what you're gonna do is it's already connected Bluetooth so you're gonna go into your apps here and you're gonna see Bluetooth music go ahead and click into that that's gonna take you to what your phone if you want to play something off your phone here so I'm gonna go ahead play the same song off my phone and it's gonna go ahead and play that and you can see on the bottom here it lists it names what the song is there's a little bit of information there and you can control it from the screen so I went ahead and pause it I'll set my phone up here so you guys can see that it does work with your phone So that's nice if you just don't want to use apps built in or if you don't want to use your hotspot on your phone to uh, get Wi-Fi to this device you still can use your Bluetooth just like any other radio alright next we'll go ahead and hook up my phone through USB here just plugged it in and what's gonna happen is it's gonna do the easy connect now you have to download the easy connect to your phone but this is going to allow you to have an Android Auto type setup. So what you're seeing on the display right now is my phone. So it's doing a mirror image of my phone here. So the Easy Connect app is just going to be another way for you to connect your phone to your in-dash monitor here and be able to access stuff off your phone whether it's your contacts if you want to use your navigation apps any music that's built in and it's as easy as just downloading the app and then plugging in your phones alright guys so that's gonna be about it for this radio review I said coolest thing about this radio is you're gonna have the ability to install this in any single DIN location which a lot of the older vehicles tend to have so if you don't have a double din area to install one of these 10 inch monitors in just a single din this is going to be perfect for you it's going to be a great upgrade if you guys are interested in this radio i'll put a link in the description box it'll be an affiliate link so if you guys are interested and you want to purchase it use that affiliate link it really helps out the channel or if you guys just want a little bit more information on this product click on that link and you'll find the information there hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash that like button and if you guys like what I'm doing on my channel here hit that subscription button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys get notified when I post my next video thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you later